Hi, this is John Kuntz, the host of the Disruptor Podcast. And today in this mini-series, we're going to take a part one at building your sales cookbook. This is a technique that I learned and uh, have refined over the years, and I've built this template that I'm going to show you how to use, which is uh, something you can request through a, a download off of my um, Disruptor YouTube channel. Anyway, let's get going. I'm going to take you through a, a sample a sample scenario of a, a company, I'll call it the Disruptor. And the first uh, thing in any company, whether you're a, an entrepreneur, an owner, a founder, or even an enterprise sales rep or enterprise sales manager, so you probably have some sort of a revenue objective or, or maybe a quota or, or something you're trying to achieve. So in my case, I have a $500,000 objective uh, over uh, 12 months. I want to look at it in not thousands, but in dollars. So I have the ability to do this spreadsheet in dollars or thousands or millions, depending on how big your business is. So I've established a revenue objective of 500K over the next 12 months. Next, I want to look at deal size. This is where I, I spend a lot of my time. I like to look at a, a you know multiple deals because I've learned over the years I can't live on just selling large deals. They take too long, they cost too much, and I starve to death. It's great when I close them and I can live for a long, I can feed my family for months, but I can't live day to day on them. So I use the analogy of uh, design thinking of cakes, right? We can sell wedding cakes, we can sell birthday cakes, or we can sell cupcakes. Wedding cakes are big, they're expensive, they cost a lot of money, they take a long time to, to, to cook and close. Birthday cakes are in the middle, still taste good, but uh, take a little more complex, a little more expensive. And, you know, you only buy birthday cake once or twice or once, a, you know, once in a special occasion, but not more often than you'd buy wedding cakes. And then cupcakes are quick to cook, don't cost a lot of money, still taste good, and... Uh, unfortunately, though, you can't live on selling cupcakes because you, you just can't scale, at least in this particular scenario. So let's say, take a look at what an average deal size might look like with these three uh, sizes. So if we look at wedding cakes, let's say in my world, wedding cake is something that costs more than $20,000. So I'm going to just use an average of twenty k per deal. Birthday cakes are somewhere between two and five thousand so I'll use an average of about four thousand and then cupcakes are somewhere in the neighborhood of a couple hundred bucks something usually typically I try to get about 250 bucks for each one and let's say for purposes of demonstration it's 175 thousand or 175 dollars a cupcake so I've established that my revenue objective of 500 500k per year. I've established what my average deal size is based on large, small, and medium. And now I want to figure. I just do the math. It's really trial and error. How many cupcakes? Do, how many wedding cakes do I want to sell? Let's say I sell 19 wedding cakes, 30 birthday cakes, and 16 cupcakes for a total of 65 deals. Right? If I do that math. I will produce 502,800 in sales per year. So how do I now break down these 65 deals? Well, in order for me to make my revenue objective, I must close these 65 deals in 12 months. In order to close these deals, my team must book uh, 16 deals per quarter because I want to make sure I'm working on a balanced pipeline for the year. In order to book uh, 16 deals, um, you know, this is where you figure out how many people you have selling. If it's just me, the math is done, right? I know exactly what I have to do. But if I've got a couple of people or I've got a sales team or I've got a co-founder, and let's say I do two people so I can set this number anywhere I want it, and I figure out how many deals each person needs to do per quarter in order to make my revenue objectives. Part two, I'll take you in a little more detail on now what do you do after this, now that you've established your cookbook. Anyway, that's it. Good luck and good selling.